Today's video has brought you a very nice geometry problem. Here is the following triangle as a right triangle at a point A. Also is an isosceles triangle. We have this distance AB equals AC, which equals X plus Y. Okay? We get this equation X over Y equals R as a variable. So our goal are, are going to prove this expression. We get arc of X plus arc of Z equals pi over 4. So X is representing some terms in terms of R, which is uh, X over Y. So I'm going to determine the, the expression and replace the quantity that I'm going to find with X and Y. Okay? So by the way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and support the channel by like and comments. So now let's jump into the solution. Since we get this isosceles triangle and the right triangle at the point A, which means this angle equals to this angle. If this angle equals to this angle, since we have the here pi over 2, which means the sum of these two angles is a pi over 2 as well, which means each of this angle is a 45 degrees or pi over 4. So it's more simple here. We get tangent of a beta, which equals tangent of the total angle, which is pi over 4, minus alpha. Okay? So tangent of pi over 4 minus tangent of alpha, all is divided by 1 plus tangent of pi over 4 is multiplied by tangent alpha. So we are simply going to simplify this one more by replacing tangent pi over 4 with number 1. So I get 1 minus tangent of alpha all over 1 plus tangent alpha. Okay, it's more simple. Now what we need now, we need to calculate tangent alpha. Tangent alpha equals the opposite is divided by adjacent, okay? By replacing this one right away here, so I get 1 minus x all over x plus y. Because this distance, which is the sum of these portions, x plus y, all over 1 plus x over x plus y. By simplifying this expression more, so I get here x plus y minus x in numerator. I'm going to cancel out x, so I will be left with y. So tangent of beta. So I get here y. In the in the same time, I'm going to cancel out x plus y from numerator and numerator by multiplying numerator and numerator by by multiplying numerator and numerator by x plus y. So I get a rid of x plus y. So in the in the denominator, I get x plus y plus x, which is 2x plus y. Get 2x plus y. What I'm going to do here, I'm simply going to divide numerator and denominator by y. So I will get 1 over 2 is multiplied by x over y plus number 1. Okay? So since we get x over y equals r, so I'm going to replace x over y with r here. So I get here. 1 over 2 is multiplied by r plus number 1, okay? Also, we know tangent alpha, which this one equals x over x plus y. x over x plus y. Same thing here, I'm going to divide both sides by x. I get 1 over 1 plus y over x. But here, we get x over y equals r. But we have y over x, which is 1 over r. So I get here 1 over 1 plus 1 over r. So I have ended with these two nice equations. I'm going to take both equations at the top and continue working on this one. So we get tangent alpha equals 1 over 1 plus 1 over r. And also we get tangent beta equals 1 over 2r plus number 1. So this alpha and beta are also variables, okay? Because r is going back and forth, is variable as well. Because this segment here is not stable in one place, it's going back and forth. It's going all the way down and come back all the way down, okay? So this alpha and beta, it can take any value, okay? Let's change this one with a theta and phi, okay? So we get here tangent theta and tangent phi, okay? This theta and phi are variables also, okay? Because r is going, because r is variable, okay? 
So now I'm going to connect, I'm going to link this tangent theta to the inverse function, arc tangent. Okay. So this one exactly is going to give us theta, which equals arc tangent, arc tangent of 1 over 1 plus 1 over r. The other one, phi, is going to take arc tangent of 1 over 2r plus number 1. I'm going to sum them together. I get theta plus phi, which equals arc tangent 1 over 1 plus 1 over r plus arc tangent of 1 over 2r plus number 1. So we know the sum of these angles equals pi over 4. So which means this, the sum of these angles is a fixed angle, which is pi over 4, okay? It's not going to pass pi over 4, which means the only change for these angles is just theta and, and phi. So if theta is going towards the A, which means theta get, get, getting smaller and phi is going to be bigger, okay? If this one is going to this direction, theta is, in, is growing up and phi is going to be smaller, okay? That's what happened here. So the sum of them equals pi over 4. If this r is going towards 0, so if the limit of x over y as r goes, goes towards 0 is going to be 0, okay? If r is going towards 0, which means 1 over 0, which is plus infinity. 1 plus 1 infinity is infinity. 1 over infinity is going to 0. This one is going towards 0. If r is going to 0 here, which means 1 over 1, which is 1, arc tangent of 1 is pi over 4. So if we have inverse here, this one is called pi over 4. If we have a limit of x over y as r goes towards infinity, which equals plus infinity, okay, which means y is going towards 0. If y go, is going towards 0, which, which means phi is going to be 0 here, and theta is taking the whole thing, pi over 4. This is what happened. Replacing r with infinity here, you get 1 over infinity, which is 0. 1 over 1, which is 1. Arc tangent of 1, which is pi over 4. Here, it will be 0, because r is going towards infinity. You get 1 over infinity, which is 0. Arc tangent is 0, which is 0. Arc tangent of 0, which is 0. Which means this point here, as a m, this, this point m is in movement. So, going back and forth. If it's going all the way down to the a, which means y is taking the whole thing. x it becomes 0. If this m is going back all the way down to the c, which means y is taking, y is going to be zero, and x is going to, and x is taking the whole thing. Okay, so this is what happened. So one over one plus r is going to replace it with x. This one is is going to be replaced with z. Okay. So by the way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and support our channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video. Bye.